This precious St. Augustine boy has a severe genetic neuromuscular disease, and now a new treatment recently approved by the FDA is giving his family hope. It's the first and only at-home treatment for spinal muscular atrophy for children and adults. And Eli Campbell's parents say it's helping their four-year-old son in remarkable ways. Eli was 14 months old when he was diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy, known as SMA. Without any treatment or intervention, typical life expectancy for a child with type 2 SMA would be 18 to 36 months. As of last year, uh, he was given a full bill of health, full life expectancy. Kevin and Maria Campbell enrolled their son in a clinical trial of Everest D, a medicine he takes orally every day that was approved by the FDA this year. A month and a half, two months after he started it, we started to see like really big gains in him. His energy levels started to go up drastically. And now it's like, you know, I have a normal four-year-old kid that's doesn't want to go to bed and he's high energy. Eli's mom says he can now get out of his wheelchair and take steps with help. Because of this medicine, like he's now able to pull up to, um, to the standing position. So it's just amazing to your kid progressing and not taking for granted like so many things that I thought he wasn't even going to be able to do. In two clinical trials, the manufacturer, Genentech, says Everest D improved motor function in people living with SMA and helped infants survive without permanent ventilation and sit without support. From a health standpoint, he's doing phenomenal. The Campbells hope by being part of the clinical trials, researchers will continue to learn more about SMA to help not only their son, but also others battling the genetic disease. These medicines are what are saving our family members. So I feel like we owe it you know, to the clinicians and the researchers to allow them to gather as much data as possible so they can make improvement as time to go on. Now, the medicine is expensive. Genetech says it costs up to $340,000 a year, but there are programs and grants to help with the expense and to work with your insurance company. And I've linked more information to this story on our website, firstcoastnews.com. Lou?